Kale Farmer Dre back. Yeah, it's another beautiful, warm, warm day here on the farm. Today, I am fertilizing blueberries. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the plants here in a little bit. But what I'm using for blueberries and what I use it, I primarily use for blueberries is ammonium sulfate. And ammonium sulfate is the um, the more acidic version of uh, so on the strawberries we use calcium nitrate, which is has a higher pH. This thing drops a pH just so you can have a lower pH soil like on blueberries like. So it's 21% nitrogen and then 24% sulfur. And it's all water soluble. So that's what I'm gonna be using for the blueberries. And if you guys want to try to use this fertilizer as well, we do have it at farmerdressupply.com. So make sure to check out the link down in the description box below for this ammonium sulfate. I'm out here in the strawberry field. We've got to clean the plastic, but I do use the same well as for the strawberries as I do for the blueberries and the apples here on the farm. So today I'm gonna be fertilizing blueberries. Ideally with blueberries, you don't want to fertilize too much after the 4th of July because if you give them too much fertilizer, then they don't have time. The wood doesn't have time to um, to cure and get ready for winter. And if you do fertilize too late in the season, then you're going to have a lot of winter injury and a lot of die back in the spring. So uh, you want to fertilize pretty much from bud break to about 4th of July, a little past 4th of July. Today is July 7th. So... Um, Time to get this last fertilizer going and we should be good to go. So for our, for our last fertilizer, I'm gonna be putting two bags of fertilizer to the acre here. Get the knife here and try to, boy, that's always fun. I lost my razor to the, uh, to the knife. I guess I gotta figure out another way. I guess a hole in the bottom of the bag will do. That, that's always great. I don't even know where I lost my blade at. That's yeah, whatever. Part of it. So whole entire bag here. Going in. So this irrigation system is simple, just like on strawberries. Got a Venturi um, injector here, just a suction injector. I've been running the irrigation on blueberries all day, so I'm about to turn it off. So that's why I'm running fertilizer before I turn it off so I can have the fertilizer going at the end so it could be on top there. All I'm going to do here is, uh, of course, got to put the sucker in there, lock it up nicely. Now I'm just going to go ahead and close this valve here. And it's going to suck up the fertilizer just like that because it creates, it creates a suction. I'm going to go ahead and let a little more pressure out like that. Of course, you always want to feel the line so it won't be too powerful. Just like that, we're injecting fertilizer in the system. Now let's go and look at the blueberries. So the blueberries are right next to our apples here. I'm going to take a walk here real quick. Look at our apple crop. Looking pretty solid overall. As you can see here, not too bad, not too bad. Growing, 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 growing. So I have lay flat pipe coming all the way out here. Well, I should have been digging this in the ground, but uh, it is what it is. But we're using lay flat here and every single row here. We use drip tube underneath the plastic. And you can see here, I've been irrigating all day. So this bed is getting nice and moist here. But yeah, not too bad. Should be nice and moist under there. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, moist, moist soil. So if you guys remember when we planted these uh, two years ago now, three years ago, 20, we planted them in spring of 2020. So this is their third season here. We did harvest a few berries off a few thousand pounds off this acre here. But this is, we planted Duke, Blue Ray, Blue Crop, and Legacy. And look at these plants here, looking good, beautiful. And on blueberries, when you see a nice healthy plant, they have canes coming in from the bottom. So this right here grew all of this season here. So all this top green is uh, looking good. On some varieties, I did have a few plants that died here. But it's not too too bad so yeah plants are looking good and of course 
those plants there are planted in 2015. I'm fighting Johnson grass, I had an employee come and start weed whacking. He only got about halfway done and then I had to go home for the day. But he cleaned up these things and these are mulch. And with Johnson grass, the grass just kind of grows on everywhere. So I'm gonna try to come through here and try to burn this off even more, but it's kind of rough. But yeah, these plants are looking really, really good. These are blue heart right here. Uh, not blue heart, sweetheart. So this Johnson guy's getting out of control. But most of these plants are looking good, nice and healthy. Other than uh, a little bit of chlorosis here in these plants here. But yeah, I'm six foot four and these plants are six foot right here. So you can't, can't beat that. Beautiful, beautiful blueberries. The biggest thing about blueberries is keeping the weeds out of them. And I struggled the last two years. And what happens is we got a bunch of, you know, we put the fabric down and they have a lot of weeds growing in there. So it's not too bad, but they're good. These are blue crop here. And you can see here a lot of a lot of beautiful luscious green growth looking good we like i said mentioned earlier we picked a few thousand pounds out of here this season so it's not too bad but plants are still small and young i honestly kind of struggle with blueberries it's just a lot of a lot of maintenance and a lot of a lot of getting after them you know what i'm saying so here on the last row these are a legacy and these are probably the best variety we planted here they're the most grower friendly and we picked a few off of these these are very large berries super sweet look at these plants are already four foot tall third year plants they're just they don't require too much they're not very picky they just like growing and if you're not you know blueberries you got to stay on top of the soil management top of the ph but with these right here they're more of a laid back plant they don't care as much I will try to plant in a more, much more of these legacies here. They're just healthy, easier to grow, healthy, have good, good looking berries. Absolutely beautiful, and they're very consistent, looking good, looking good. So, legacy blueberries are very, very good. Look at that. Beautiful, large berries. So, what amuses me here, they broke bud here, and this is all growth from one season. So, right here, that's about a foot of growth on this plant alone here, just on that one branch. So what we got to get going now is a lot of these. We got to get a lot more shoots coming from the bottom. But don't know about these. As long as the tops produce a nice, beautiful bunch of blueberry. That's all that matters, I guess. So not too bad, not too bad. Got to get them fertilized and water. That's the most important part. Out of all the crops you grow here on the farm, I would say that blueberries are the most picky. They're the one of the hardest crops to grow. Uh, you know, you can sell the heck out of them if you have them. They're easy to sell, easy to you pick, not really much disease issue. But just on the growing side of things, getting the nutrients managed, get plenty of water on them, and just stay on top of things is the biggest thing. Keep the weeds out of them, keep them clean. But overall, that is our blueberries there. Not too bad. I wouldn't say it's the uh, prettiest crop we grow or the best crop. But, hey, you have them. People come out here buy them pick them all of the above one thing i want to mention here is um this right here this is drip tube it's not drip tape it's a heavier stuff this is, this should be good in the ground for about 10 years so it's really it's really tubey it's really plastic drip tape is really flimsy after a year is done but this drip tube you put in the ground for many 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 years so that's one thing that i got to keep in mind if you're going to put any type of perennial crop down fruit or whatever vegetable drip tube instead of drip tape and of course i would highly recommend using landscaping fabric you know it has its perks to it but then again it does warm the soil temperature a little more it's you know good and bad of everything but it sure beats fighting the weeds all the time and you can see here this right here is nice and clean beautiful and of course you got johnson grass infestation there so uh yeah that is what it is but you know, it's much easier to manage the weeds in the hole there of the plant and try to manage a whole entire hedgerow of Johnson grass. But we're gonna leave it as is. Next year, I might just get fabric and just kind of lean it against up, up there. So just get two pieces of fabric, probably two or four foot, mulch it, till it in the spring, and then just kind of come put it right against the plants and do it that way to avoid all this grass. But yeah, live and learn, part of it. Each year you learn something more keeping it going as long as the plants are healthy plants are green plants are growing that is all that matters so like i mentioned you'll be using ammonium sulfate for blueberries low ph 
And you can also be using this if you have a high pH soil as your uh, nitrogen uh, uh, source. So if you have a, a natural soil pH of eight or nine on your regular crops, I wouldn't recommend growing blueberries, but if you gotta irrigate your strawberries, use the ammonium sulfate instead of calcium nitrate, just gonna drop that pH through the fertilizer. Uh, but yeah, we only use ammonium sulfate just for the blueberries alone. Here in Southwest Missouri, we have uh, acidic soils naturally. So uh, we, we push, push our fertilizer or push the soil with lime to push up that pH to get it to about six, six and a half. Well, blueberries, you're going about 5.2. So uh, yeah, that's what you got to use. Be using the ammonium sulfate. Like I mentioned, we've been irrigating blueberries uh, I, all today, all day for about eight to nine hours now. Maybe going on so long that I turn on this morning and it's about seven o'clock. So yeah, about 12 hours now we're running irrigation, but it's been, we've been super, super, super dry here in Missouri. Our last good rain shower was back in May and today is the first week of July. So about a month with a, you know, we had about an inch or so a couple weeks ago, but the ground is so dry, it just soaked up that, that water like nothing. Everything's super dusty. Been running waters on zinnias, blackberries nonstop. We gotta water the water, the apple crop, and of course get those peaches watered. So it's just that time of year where I'm managing irrig irrigation wells more than anything. And of course we've been picking a ton of tomatoes, picking blueberries, blackberries, taking those to market. So uh, just absolutely uh, crazy this time. All right, y'all, this is gonna be it for today. Like I mentioned earlier, you're gonna be able to find the ammonium sulfate at farmerdraysupply.com. Our link is in the description box, like always. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys know what today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. Y'all have a good day, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.